Out to the president's visit, he was greeted uh, and wrapped up his visit to UMC last hour. Dozens of protesters and supporters gathered near UMC. That is where we find KTSM 9 News reporter Tatiana Favela. Daniel, that's right. I'm still outside of UMC where President Trump came to visit some of the victims and their families. And I'm actually joined here with Tito Anchondo. He's the older brother of one of the victims of Saturday's mass shooting, Andre Anchondo, and his wife, Jordan. Um, Tito, you actually were mentioning that you spoke with President Trump at the hospital. Tell us what conversations happened and uh, what went on when he met there. Well, uh, I expected something more like, uh, I guess, political, but he was very uh, laid back. Him and his wife were amazing. They just talked to us like normal people. I told him my brother's story, and I just wanted him to show the world that my brother is a hero. And what does it mean for you, to, for the president to come and actually talk to, you know, the victims, but also their families? I mean, it, it must be a difficult time, but obviously he came to talk to you. I think that shows a lot about our president right now. Um, a lot of people are giving him backlash, but he obviously came out here in good faith and he talked to each and every single family. Um, I don't know how many families came, uh, came and talked to him because I, I know several declined. Um, but he did make the effort to come out here. He even held uh, baby Paul, so. And um, what does it mean, or I guess, what does it mean for the rest of your family that he came out here? These are, um, you know, statements from you, but how did your parents feel? Just how was that? Uh, I think everybody was very uh, happy to meet President Trump. Uh, he gave his sincerest condolences. Uh, my dad's a really big Super Trump fan, so uh, they were talking about businesses because my dad owns a body shop and, and how Trump had businesses. And so it was like a conversation, really. It was, he was very uh, sad about how everything uh, happened to our family, and we were just uh, grateful that he came and, and gave us support in this horrible time. Thank you so much, Tito, for joining us. Um, again, we give our condolences to you and your family. And um, for now, live in South Central, El Paso, Tatiana Favela, back to you.